I I miss being shit on is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, she I, makes I, me feel too good about myself. Yeah, it's, she's like, don't worry, your poem sucks, but I care about you. And I'm like, I don't know you, you purple-haired goddess. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Ah, uh, There's a lot of animals. I was thinking about this. I like the There's got to be a deeper meaning. I don't see anything. Uh, everyone else can do amazing things, but she can only try. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. I told you you were going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced right, that... Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had some... My... Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks the writing has to be all sophisticated and... All right, that's true, it should be. Her poem was really fucking bad. <laughs> Some people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express it's themselves? It's not, it's to look good in front of other people. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. How hard hit you hard. Oh, I'll fucking Batista bomb you. <laughs> like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do th great things can be really disheartening. I'm a genius. I'm so good. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight, weight on the wordplay. Uh, there was no wordplay. I'm sorry. You like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. And it helped bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. There was no rhyme. Yeah, it was just the same sentence, but was just, it was replaced for it. She was supposed to be it's so fucking bad. There was absolutely no artistic ability at all in her writing. Oh, shit. Oh, Nasugi! <laughs> <laughs> That's a music pro! <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here. Oh, God. Uh, just the youngest. Uh, uh, youngest one here, did you? No. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Ah, uh, oh, Yuri. Ah, oh, yeah. Would you get that goddamn <laughs> Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Ah, um, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Mm. Hold on, okay. This is your first time <laughs> writing a poem, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. <laughs> ah, so it's that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> she did not raise her voice. Ooh, ooh I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yuri buries her face in her hands. That's her hair. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize as new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form-fit the two together. The end result is both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Oh, once Yuri finishes train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. Yeah. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, 
and learning by example and trying new things. She's so fucking inspirational. Right? It kind of hurts. God damn. I it just... I I miss being shit on is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I she just, makes I, me feel too good about myself. Yeah. It's, she's like, don't worry, your poem sucks, but I care about you. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know you, you purple-haired goddess. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. Oh, she, she I shouldn't be talking to people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have stood the test of time. The last to get yet, yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air, the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Wow, what is it? I don't know what it means, but That's I like dark. it. That's dark. Uh, she's bathing, uh, street lights, and People. it's like flickering, flickering lights. Seems like death. Death in a bathtub, boys. Okay. That's what I'm all about. I'm sorry I have such terrible, terrible handwriting. Oh, you should see mine, girl. Oh. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Oh? Uh, that's a relief. <laughs> also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? Size doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I usually write longer poems. Oh, do ya? Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Oh my god, it's gonna get darker. Oh boy. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Oh boy. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story is about ghosts at all bum rumbler. Aw, oh, fuck. We've activated our trap card. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after oh. all. Oh! But remember that poet often expresses their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poet is being as symbolically compared to a ghost. No. Lingering in a last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Oh my god. And soon to be left with- Oh my god, she's so edgy. <laughs> like, I thought she was elegant and smart, and she's then she- both, damn it! She's just, <laughs> she's like a fucking twelve-year-old. Like, oh, I'm so sad, and I want you to know that I'm sad. Could you feel my sad? <laughs> All right, next. That that's a lot more solemn. Putting it that way, I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. It makes me happy that you think that. Just remember, it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll just have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Oh my god! Do you wanna do you wanna that to be part two? We'll save. Yeah, we'll save the. Uh, yeah. That was well, gonna be more than part two, but oh yeah, save it. Why? Okay, well that's fine. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. I'm down. Yes. Down to clown. That's about it. We'll uh, see you boys next time. Uh,